And for more top international headlines, we connect to Paul E. at the News Center. Our focus today, the U.S. offers a bounty for the leaders of the Islamic State group. Britain braces for the closest election in a generation. And in sports, after losing the fight of the century, Manny the Pac-Man Pacquiao is under fire for an undeclared injury. Paul, let's begin in Washington. The United States has been leading the war against IS militants across Iraq and Syria, and now it's looking to ramp up the pressure on the group's leadership. That's right. The State Department announced on Tuesday that it added four individuals to its most wanted list as part of its so called Rewards for Justice program. Bounties of up to seven million U.S. dollars are being offered for any information leading to the capture of these high value targets. In the meantime, U.S. investigators are looking into a claim by the jihadist group that was behind a failed attack in Texas on Sunday. This is uh, still under investigation by the FBI and other members of the intelligence community uh, to determine any ties or affiliations that these two individuals uh, may have had with ISIL or other terrorist organizations uh, around the world. Uh, so it's too early to say at this point. The thing that we can say definitively uh, is that because of the quick and professional and brave work of local law enforcement officers, uh, an attempted terrorist attack was foiled. Two gunmen from Arizona were fatally shot by police in Garland, Texas, after they opened fire on a controversial contest to draw cartoons of the Prophet Muhammad. This is the first time IS has claimed responsibility for an attack on American soil.